Well, the search for the missing Malaysian passenger flight MH370 is coming to an end. Authorities say they have almost finished scouring a large section of the southern Indian Ocean where they believe the plane went down. But after two years of looking, search crews have not been able to find any more clues. Now, Greg Namaro has the story. This is where the series of ships used in the search for MH370 will dock here in Fremantle in Western Australia, where they'll take a couple of days to restock and refuel before heading out to that search area. These ships, along with high-tech sonar and aerial searches, have so far covered about 90% of the 120,000 square kilometer section of the southern Indian Ocean, but so far to date, they have not found any evidence as to where that plane might be, although Various pieces of the plane have washed up in Reunion Island and Mozambique, but authorities admit they are still no closer to finding the plane and knowing what happened. Part of the problem is the area they're searching, a turbulent part of the southern Indian Ocean, known for having some of the worst weather imaginable to conduct this type of needle in the haystack search. I mean, you have to remember that when you're looking at something, uh, any object in the ocean, it's four or five kilometers down, and you basically got your eyes closed. Uh, you don't know where you're going. You've got very rough conditions. So it is a very challenging uh, environment to look at. Again. In March of 2014, MH370 disappeared shortly after taking off from Kuala Lumpur, bound for Beijing, with 239 people on board. Coastal oceanographer Chari Padirachi was one of the first people to successfully predict that currents would carry parts of the plane to Reunion Island and Mozambique, which were eventually positively identified as being from MH370. He says despite the work and the technology used in that search, it shouldn't be surprising that the plane has not been found. It's a combination of not knowing where to look. It's a bigger problem than actually finding where it is. He believes MH370 will be found, but stressed it will take time well beyond the current probably perhaps a little pause would probably be good to actually reassess and say, well, what can we do better? Uh, because in, in, in all of this, it's been go, 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 because there has been a lot of pressure from the public, from, from various sources. The Australian Transportation Safety Bureau says it is re-examining its assumptions about the end of the flight, how far MH370 may have traveled before it went down. In the meantime, the search for MH370 is expected to wrap up at this point sometime in August. Authorities have said in the past if they find no evidence, no credible evidence as to where that plane might be, the search for MH370 will come to an end. Ragnabarro, CCTV, Fremantle.